Hi again, everybody. It's your old pal, the history nerd. I am back in the man cave. And in this video, we are going to unbox and review the Stetson Digger Outback Straw Hat that a duly employed member of the United States Postal Service delivered to my home with great care and precision just a few hours ago. So let's stop farting around and start with the unboxing. Now, as I open this box, I want to give you a tip that I learned. Uh, when I first heard about the Stetson Digger hat, I did what many of you probably do simply out of convenience. I went straight to Amazon and typed in Stetson Digger. And when it popped up, uh, they had the hat in my size. I have said many times on these videos, I have a giant melon and it's often difficult for me to find hats in giant melon size. Well, Amazon had giant melon digger hats, but they cost $89. Uh, so I said to hell with that and decided I would go Google around and look elsewhere. And I stumbled upon a place called JC's Western Wear, which calls itself Florida's largest Western wear shop. And they had the same exact digger hat in giant melon size for just $41. So the point of the story is Amazon may be convenient and it may give you one or two day shipping for free, but uh, when it comes to hats, it's best to shop around the internet because you can probably find them cheaper elsewhere. So we are opening the box. We are pulling out the hat, which is wrapped in plastic. Uh, there is an invoice in here as well. Um, Let's open up the Stetson Digger and see what we have here. There you go. It is, there's the Stetson Digger Australian Outback hat. And I can tell you upon first glance and first feel uh, that I am a bit underwhelmed. This is not the hat quality that I thought I would get uh, from Stetson. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and read you the description for the Stetson Digger and see if it matches up with what we have here. Uh, it says the Stetson Digger is an attractive summer hat made of lightweight and durable Shantung straw. It measures a three and a quarter inch brim that provides UPF 50 plus protection to your face and neck on hot sunny days. A four inch cattleman crease crown. This is not a cattleman crease crown. It's a, well, it's, it's, it's a modified cattleman's crease crown. It's uh, more of a pinched front crown. Uh, a four inch cattleman crease crown is vented for maximum breathability. So it keeps you cool and comfortable all day long. The hat is unlined and features a cotton sweatband, which makes it comfortable and cool enough for both ranch and city life. The digger hat is also outfitted with a leather hat band. It will be a perfect addition to your summer collection. Uh, and it says it is handcrafted in the USA. I think Stetson straw hats are actually made in Mexico, not in the USA, but we will see in a minute when we look inside, if it's made in the USA, it will say so. Uh, so yes, this hat is made of Shantung straw. Now we have talked about Shantung straw in previous videos. It is actually not straw at all. Shantung straw, they take high grade quality paper. They put it under tremendous pressure until the paper binds together. Then they cut the paper into thin straw like strips and they weave those paper strips into a hat, but they call it Shantung straw because most folks would not pay $41 for a hat 
that's called a paper hat. Now, Stetson makes good quality hats out of Shantung straw. The 10X and 6X open roads, which I have covered in a previous video, if you want to go look at that, those are very high quality Shantung straw hats that have a nice look and feel. I noticed when I first opened this hat and touched it, this has a plasticky feel to it. It does not have a great quality feel like most Stetson products. Uh, now this says it has a four inch crown and a three and a quarter inch brim. But again, uh, y'all, the quality just doesn't seem to be there. The tag on it doesn't help. It doesn't come in a box. So obviously it's not a high end Stetson hat. It's a $40 Stetson hat, but still, it, it's just not the quality I've come to expect from Stetson's. Uh, we'll look inside of it. Yes, it has the cloth sweatband that they talked about. It has a Stetson label sewn into the back. Uh, this is a double extra large. You can also tell this is not a high quality Stetson because it doesn't come in seven and a quarter, seven and five eight, seven and three quarter size. It goes small, medium, large, extra large, and Giant Melon Boy needs a double extra large. There are not a lot of uh, Stetson hats that come in the small through double extra large. There's not a lot of them that are actually made in double X. So this is one of a handful. Uh, in addition, it says made in Mexico, not made in the USA as the description I found on the internet said and it's got the sticker that I think the state of California requires them to insert that says uh, it's made from material that that is has cancer and repro reproductive harm. I've never known of a straw hat that gives you uh, cancer or makes you sterile, but that's what the label says. Now, um, there's not a lot to say about this hat. They say it's an Australian Outback hat. Uh, feeling it, looking at it, it doesn't really have that Australian Outback look and feel. Uh, it actually looks, with the shape of the brim and everything, looks like a hat that a little, that a little old lady would wear when she is gardening and that might perhaps be why they have named this hat the digger um uh look on first glance i can tell you uh, uh i have reviewed lots of stetson hats on this channel i am stetson brand loyal i have liked and enjoyed every stetson hat that i have purchased but uh, I just feel that this one does not live up to the quality of the other Stetson hats that I have reviewed on this channel. Now, there's not a lot of background for me to go over. Usually I tell you the history of a hat and we have a good discussion. There's not a lot of history on this one. So that tells me that there's one thing left for me to do, and that is for me to try on this hat for you. I have said several times in previous videos, I cannot see what I look like with the way my camera is set up here. So when I put hats on, if I look like an idiot with a hat on, you know I look like an idiot before I know I look like an idiot. And I'm afraid this hat may, may make me look like an idiot. So. I will put it on. It fits because it's double extra large, but there you go, folks. There is the uh, Stetson Digger Outback Straw Hat. Uh, I can't see myself, but looking at how the hat looks, I predict that I resemble just a little bit First Lady Melania Trump when the media made fun of her for wearing a white pith helmet when she visited Africa and went on safari. This hat has a pith helmet uh, look to it, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not gonna return the hat. It's not JC Western Wear's fault that I don't like the hat. I'll keep the hat 
I may wear it around the house. Who knows, once I see myself in the mirror, I may like it better, but I am not thrilled with this Stetson hat. Now, usually I will wrap up the video at this point, but um, uh, I wanna give you all a little advice. Um, uh, several of you have asked me, why do you have so many cotton picking hats? And since we are entering summer, um, I think it's a good time for me to tell you a little story. Um, when I was in my early 40s, I developed what I thought was an age spot on my right cheek. And it stayed there for about 10 years. And eventually it got darker and larger. And in the Christmas of 2021, my wife told me in no uncertain terms, I don't like the way that spot's beginning to look. I'm going to make an appointment with a dermatologist for you. Now I had never visited a dermatologist, but I went under protest. Uh, the dermatologist uh, biopsied the age spot that was on my cheek and called me the uh, next Saturday. Uh, when the doctor calls you on a Saturday, it's probably not good news. The doctor said, yes, you have malignant melanoma cancer. A couple of days later, I found myself at the top cancer clinic in Alabama, where the oncologist told me because of the size and depth of the tumor, they were fairly certain that it had gotten into my lymph nodes, especially considering the amount of time that I had let it sit there. Uh, so soon after I had cancer surgery where they basically removed my right cheek, they took out lymph nodes that they biopsied and by some miracle, uh, I was in the 10% of people with tumors of that size, depth, and, and length of time that did not develop lymph node cancer, but they basically took off my right cheek. Uh, they took a piece of my clavicle, they sewed it in place, and I went through three facial reconstruction surgeries. Now, um, uh, I can tell you that the plastic surgery sucked a lot worse than the cancer surgery did. But three facial reconstruction surgeries later, uh, this is what you got. Uh, I've got a good number of battle scars. And uh, look, if you've got a queasy stomach, don't look at what I'm about to show you. But I'm going to show you a photo that uh, illustrates what they did to my face. Uh, I was stitched up like a Rawlings baseball and uh, one year after the surgery I am still cancer free but I still have to go visit the plastic surgeon as a matter of fact I have an appointment in a couple of weeks that's one year after the uh, last plastic surgery I'm still having to consult with the plastic surgeon so my point is people uh, as you're out and about this summer, wear your hat, put on sunscreen. And look, I was not a sun worshiper. I was not, I'm not a beach person. Y'all look at me. I am not oiling myself up playing beach volleyball with Maverick and Goose on the weekends. That's just, that's not who I am. I was not an outside kind of guy, but when I did go outside, I did not wear a hat or sunscreen. So that's how Mr. I don't like the sun got skin cancer. So if you do go in the sun, be safe, do something smart, wear a hat, put on sunscreen, and don't go through the crappy surgery like I did. Now, however, if you're the kind of person who likes to go out and bake yourself like a rotisserie chicken in the sun, that is perfectly fine with me. God bless you for it. The man cave is a judgment-free zone. You be you, except if you're uh, an asshat, uh, the man cave does not like asshats. Asshats are not welcome in the man cave. But other than asshats, 
the man cave is a judgment free zone. So with that little lecture, folks, I am going to wrap up this video. Uh, I'm not going to recommend the Stetson Digger hat on first glance. If I change my mind later, I will make another video. But right now, this is on my I wouldn't buy it if I were you list. Now look, uh, if you liked this video and want to see more content like this, I need you to do three things for me. I need you to give me the Fonzie thumbs up A. Eh? I need you to hit subscribe and ring the bell so the next time I fire up the old YouTube gizmo, you will be the first to know. Uh, folks, I'm gonna close this video like I close all of my videos by asking all of you to be good, uh, be well, uh, be happy, and goodbye folks, and God bless all y'all till we meet in the man cave again.